हेलो फ्रेंड्स वे हाउ टू स्टार्ट न्यू टॉपिक्स इन फ्लूड्स इन मोशन फ्लूड्स इन मोशन देर आर मेनी एग्जांपल्स ऑफ मूविंग फ्लूड्स इन आवर एवरीडे लाइफ फॉर एग्जांपल वाटर फ्लोइंग थ्रू वाटर टैप फ्लो ऑफ कुकिंग गैस थ्रू ट्यूब फ्लो ऑफ वाटर इन रिवर नाउ यर हाइड्रोडाइनेमिक्स मीन्स the branch of physics which deals with the study of properties of fluids in motion is called as hydrodynamics means in hydrodynamics we have to study the properties of fluids in motion now figure shows a pipe for the direction and cross sectional area change arbitrarily the direction of flow of an ideal fluid in pipe is shown now first point is a steady flow steady flow means a flow of a liquid in which pressure or velocity of a fluid at a given point is constant over time flow of a fluid in which pressure or velocity of a fluid at a given point is constant second one is flow line it is the path of an individual particle in a moving fluid flow line it is the path of an individual particle in a moving fluid next one is flow tube it is an imaginary bundle of flow lines bound by imaginary wall next streamline it is a curve whose tangent at any point in the flow is in the direction of the velocity of the flow at that point streamlines and flow line lines are identical for a steady flow now next topic is a streamline flow is also called as a laminar flow it is a steady flow in which adjacent layers of a fluid move smoothly over each other for example steady flow of water in a river here in this diagram in streamline sorry in this diagram all liquid molecules move in a straight line means for example steady flow of water in river second one is turbulent flow it is a flow at a very high flow rate and flow pattern changes continuously means here liquid molecules moves randomly in turbulent flow all liquid molecules moves in the random motion for example the flow of water of flooded river next topic difference between streamline flow and turbulent flow now we are in streamline flow the flow of a fluid is smooth and steady velocity is less than critical velocity velocity of a fluid at a given point is always constant the layers of a fluid are parallel now in turbulent flow the flow of fluid is irregular and unsteady velocity is more than critical velocity velocity of a fluid at a point does not remains constant the layers of a fluid are not parallel next topic critical velocity and reynolds number first one we have to see critical velocity the velocity of the flow beyond which streamline streamline flow becomes turbulent is called as critical velocity where where v is equal to r capital r into eta upon rho into d where v is equal to r into eta upon rho into d where v is the critical velocity rho is density of liquid d is diameter of a tube and eta is a coefficient of viscosity next topic reynolds number now it is a dimensionless ratio which determines whether the fluid flow is a streamline or turbulent and is given by r is equal to, sorry is given by r equal to v rho d upon eta condition 
if reynolds number is less than 1000 the flow is streamlined more than 2000 the flow is turbulent in between 1000 and 2000 the flow becomes unsteady that is it changes from a streamlined flow to a turbulent flow next topic viscosity now where viscosity means the property due to which fluid opposes the relative motion between its two layers is called as viscosity the property due to which all liquids fluid opposes relative motion between its two layers suppose a constant tangential force is applied to the surface of liquid under this sharing force the liquid begins to flow the motion of a thin layer of a liquid at the surface relative to a layer below is opposed by a fluid friction because of this internal fluid friction horizontal layers of the liquid flow with varying velocities and this also happens in a gas when a solid surface is moved through a gas a thin layer of the gas moves with the surface but its motion relative to a layer away is opposed by a fluid friction now we have to see in viscous force is also called as viscous drag the force which opposes relative motion between two layers is called as viscous force or viscous drag when a fluid flows past a solid surface or when a solid body moves through a fluid there is always a force of fluid friction opposing the motion force of fluid friction is called as viscous force or viscous drag thank you